Hi, my name is Dana Johnson. I work with the U.S. Department of Agriculture and Wildlife Services. And today we're just going to go over some different types of doors that are commonly used for pig trapping. This one's called a saloon door. This door can open and shut, which allows more pigs to go in. So when you're trapping, you've got these doors locked back. When it's time to catch, you stick in this mechanism in the middle and you can tie it to a trigger on a trip line and then when the pigs hit the trip line the door shuts. Now if the door shuts these little push pads right here other pigs can push sneak in and the door shuts right behind them. These doors run anywhere from $250 to $500. Uh, I know some welders and local welders you can probably have some of these made you can purchase them online. The door works in the general sense like every other door works. Once you set, it closes, but this one allows more pigs to push in. Again, this is called a saloon door. You can uh, go online and find them. You can probably have someone local that can sell them to you. The second type of door is also a continuous catch door. It's called a root door. This door when you got your pigs coming in and out, can be set up to where it's held open. Well, after your door shut, more pigs on the outside have the opportunity to push in. And these are independent of each other, so they can push in one side or another side or the middle. Once again, pigs can push in, but others can't push out. A door like this can run up to $500. Both of these are continuous catch doors, and the theory behind them is once both doors are shut, more pigs can push in. We did some research with the assistance of Baldwin University and looked to see how many pigs actually pushed in these doors once the door was shut. How we did it, we had a lot of pigs acclimated to pig to going in the traps with the doors held open during a pre-bait session. For up to three weeks and multiple times during the day, pigs were going in and out of the trap. So we set the door to purposely only catch a few of the pigs to see if the ones on the outside would push in. Now the ones on the outside had already gone in these traps multiple times for three weeks. What we found out is out, out of 222 pigs that were on the outside of the trap when the door shut, only 11 pushed in. We went over the research and you know, 11 pigs pushed in. So what we did prove is yes, these doors do work. Pigs can push in and they will. What you have to decide as a purchase, person purchasing this, is it worth the $250 to $500 for a door where there is a possibility that some push in, but it showed that the majority don't. There are other types of doors out there. You can build doors for as low as $50, but you have to decide, do they work? Yes. Do a lot of pigs push in? According to our research, they don't. So it's up to you, the landowner, the trapper, what door you want to, what door you want to go with. This door is called a falling door. This is made out of wood, of course. We actually did a video making this exact door. It's on YouTube right now. But this door will cost around $50. It takes, with decent equipment, you know, about, about 30 to 45 minutes to, to build. You can build one on the back of a truck. The one thing about these doors, oh, and this door is 32 inches wide. The only reason this door is 32 inches wide is because it's a piece of plywood cut twice. There's no other science behind it. I use these a lot. I've caught a lot of pigs and I've not had any problems with pigs not wanting to go in. But the one thing about this trap is when you have a, a trigger system, most likely a root trigger, and it shuts, then your pigs, no more pigs can push in. But the door, you're looking at, at around $50 to build this door and using treated lumber. And if you take the, your plywood out when you're not using it, I've had these doors in the woods for up to five or six years and never had a problem with them. Once again, this is called a falling door trap. It's a wooden door and they, they work just as good as any of the other doors we've seen. The whole object is to get the pigs in the trap and the door shut. 
This is just another version of a falling door trap. This one's made of metal. We've got around $50, $60 worth of metal into this. So if you know how to weld, you can build one of these. And this will last a lot longer in the field than a wooden one. But we basically got some 3 inch flat, some angle iron. And what we did on the side here is we put some square tubing, cut them. That way you can drop this right over a T-post. They're, they're pretty light, but you'll need two people to pick it up high enough and sit. So unlike other ones where you're tying it off to the T-post, this just slides over. And it works just like any other door. You have a piece of plywood at the bottom and we have some jump bars so because it's a little bit shorter but you could also you can just cut a larger piece of plywood once again it's a simple falling door i get these made at a welding shop they cost me around 90 bucks that includes the labor but there's about 50 dollars in materials for one of these and then we paint them with a rust resistant paint so very simple door once again it's a falling door once the door shuts no other pig can push in but this will last a long time in the field and they're relatively inexpensive.